What? Breaking news. What? They had a meeting a day or don't turn that up. They had a meeting a day or two ago with a whole lot of clubs and people and they agreed that by the end of next year they should have a second division called the championship. At professional league? Yeah. Oh next year. The end of like to coincide with the A League towards the end of twenty twenty. Whew. And then other people said, oh, that's not possible, that's too soon. Might happen, though. It might. they would open up some spots. I hope you're all super well. I got amazing news today that I'm getting my sock sample next week. So, Step Scoop Socks. Man, I'm so hyped. You guys have been asking about price. I don't know about price because I haven't got the product yet. But trust me when I say this, there are a few other companies and apparel brands out there doing grip socks who are charging you an arm and a leg for a grip sock. Man, I'm not about that life. We're going to be putting it out there. We're going to be the best grip sock on the market. Mark my words. So, I can't wait. The sample is coming next week and then I can start making content for the sock. I've got some, oh man, the skits that are planned is hilarious. But now I'm going to sit down with you guys, take you through the MPL, the, uh, the whole Australian league system. This video is inspired by Matt Sheldon or Become Elite. He did a video on this about the American league system. So if you want to watch that, make sure you go down below and click the link in the description, which will take you to that video. But now let's listen to the Australian league system. Right, so I'm going to sit down with you guys, take you through the leagues of Australia. But before I get any further, this video is sponsored by One Football, the most amazing app for all of your footballing needs. I've told you guys so many times. You'll find all the fixtures, results, anything for every league, every league cup, anything in the world. It's on One Football, so make sure you go down below. Click the link in the description to download it. It's just the football app you gotta have. So in Australia, we only have one professional league. That is the A League. That is the top pillar. That is where the top dogs come to play. Now, when you play there, you're making, you know, a professional wage. And to me, a professional wage is something that you can live off. I know in other countries, you have professional leagues where they might give you a house to live and a little bit of spending money. Yeah, that's professional but here in Australia I think the minimum is about 80 grand 70 grand a year and then it's only upwards from there now that's super simple right but now it gets a little bit complicated so below that in Australia we have I think we have seven states and in those seven states there is an NPL one league now this is classed as the second division in Australia there are some very very good players there and I've even trained with players who I know should be in the A-League but because they're a visa player it doesn't make sense for an A-League club to pick them up because in the A-League you can only have I think it's like three visa players so to take a player from the NPL one to the A-League it is much much better if you're Australian so that's the MPL one. It, I class it as the second highest level in Australia. And on top of that, you kind of have levels in the MPL one. So the state of New South Wales is much better than the state of Western Australia. New South Wales, Victoria, and Queensland is kind of the order it would go. And then I don't know the rest after that. Now, if you come first in the MPL one, all of those clubs go and play against each other to see who is the best MPL one club. I think South Australia might've won it last year, but here's where it gets interesting. Below that, I only know for New South Wales, there's an MPL 2, an MPL 3, and an MPL 4, also known as State League. And I think all of them are semi-pro leagues. I'm not 100% sure about the bottom two. I think they are, but I'm, I, don't quote me. Now the juicy part, promotion and relegation. I know things have changed this year, but it will go something along the lines of what I'm about to say, because I don't know the full detail of all the changes. So how it works to be promoted and relegated... This is beyond me how it works or how it makes sense. I would much prefer it to just be normal. Promotion and relegation is based off your under 18s, your under 20s and your first grade team's performances throughout the season. So in the under 18s, if you pick up a win, you get three points. That's just standard. That's football. That three points then goes to your club championship points. In the under 20s, if you win, you get three points as usual but it's times by two. So if you win, you get six points added to your club's championship points. And if you draw, you'll get two points added to the club championship. In the first grade, it's times by four, I believe. So in first grade, you win, you get three points to the ladder, a draw is one. But to the club championship, if you win, you get 12 points and a draw would be four points. And a loss for all of those will be zero. Now at the end of the season, all of these points are calculated between every team, which means to be promoted or relegated, 
your under 18s, your under 20s, and your first grade must do very well or very poor. So a team that got promoted this year, Mount Druitt Rangers, they got promoted from MPL 2 to MPL 1. They won the league by, I think it was 16 points. But their under 20s and their under 18s were both kind of mid-table, didn't do amazing. So it's a really weird concept, which I still struggle to wrap my head around why it is that. I guess it improves the development. You keep players on from the under 18s to under 20s and to first grade. But trust me, it's a strange one. Now from MPL 1 to MPL 2, the team with the least club championship points will get demoted into MPL 2, which means the team that came first in MPL 2 with the club championship points will get promoted into MPL 1. So there's only one up and down there. From there, I heard that this year in MPL 2, there's three teams getting demoted from MPL 2 to MPL 3. So that's a lot more teams. If your under 18s and your under 20s come dead last, but your first grade is mid table, you're not looking good. So for us to get promoted at Rydalmere, we need a team effort. We need the under 18s to do well, under 20s to do well, and first grade to do well on top of that. Now below all of the MPL leagues is probably just amateur level. That's where I played with Wakehurst last year. The amateur level, it's that's just below MPL. There's no, like one level is better than the other, I would say. It's just, you're playing amateur level. I hope that has cleared everything up for you guys. It was difficult to get through, but now I'm sure you understand how the promotion and relegation works, the league that I'm playing in, all of that sort of stuff. So let's crack on with the rest of the day. Ian, before you go, what? breaking news. What? They had a meeting a day or two, turn that off. They had a meeting a day or two ago with a whole lot of clubs and people, and they agreed that by the end of next year they should have a second division called the Championship. At Professional League? Yeah. Oh, next year. The end of like to coincide with the A-League towards the end of 2020. Whew. And then other people said, oh, that's not possible, that's too soon. Might happen though. It might. They've opened up some spots. Radio heading out now, going off to Lucy's. Also going to get a fresh cut. I know some of you guys might be like, Sheldon, that's not a fresh cut, what you're about to get. Or saying, Sheldon, please get a proper haircut. Hey, I've fallen for you guys before when you have told me to get a haircut. I've gone and got it. But this time, I'm not cracking, man. I'm not cracking. Basically, I want to grow my hair out to be pretty long and on screen right now is what I'm going for. Maybe one day we'll eventually get it. So it's going to require a lot of patience. One day we'll get there, don't worry, and it's going to look absolutely sick. I'd rather do it now rather than later when my hairline becomes so bad I don't have any more hair. So please just understand a brother, man. All right, so Luce has gone and what is this called? Braided? Plattered? <laughs> I forgot about it. <laughs> it's called a French braid. A French braided my hair. What do you guys reckon? It's it's okay. What do you think? You have a few baby hairs coming out here, out, which aren't so cute, but yeah. do you like it overall though? Yeah. Now before I got an extremely nice text, one that every player in the world wants to see, which is the starting lineup for tomorrow, and I can confirm that I will be starting the game tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, as a right winger, so that's absolutely awesome. We have a strong, strong team, so, you know, 7 p.m. tomorrow, you're going to come down, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, so, first round, i got to go out there and perform, not only for this team, to help us as much as possible, but for myself as well. I want to go out there and perform so that then next week I'm in the starting 11, and then perform that week, and then the week after that I'm in the starting 11. So, man, there's a bit of pressure on me coming in as a player, and starting but i'm okay with that pressure uh, i love the pressure i feed off it and you know if there was no pressure in football i don't think i'd play it so overall absolutely buzzing that's literally a text every player wants to see you're in the starting lineup you are playing tomorrow papa Tweedy will be there filming claire will be there supporting lucy will be there being a yeah. wag being what? a wag yeah a wag <laughs> And then I hope a few of you guys are down there as well. If you ever do come to my games, be sure to come and say hi. I've had some people in the past come to the game and then not say hi afterwards. Just call me over. I'm completely okay to have a chat, whatever. I can't wait. Are you keen? Mm-hmm. You know, she's just tired. I, I'm not going to be able to say I'm going to be just thinking about the match tomorrow. So, yeah, awesome news. That is with the first team. I know a couple of people in the last video against Sydney United were saying, well, I got the comments up today. I know that I'm starting, and while I'm on that field, I'm going to be giving 100%, and that's all that really matters. So, maybe, should I play with this tomorrow? No. Okay. It, well, it'll come out throughout the night, I think, because it's a bit loose. Oh, it's quite cool. 
Yeah. I just need to grow out a bit longer. So, yeah. anyway, get in the vlog there. Team 2, sun out. Make sure you like on the show. Subscribe me on your journey. Journey, I'll see you around. Bye.